That's right, Kitty. The following video may contain cursing in adult language. This video is not meant to be viewed by individuals under 13 years old. If you are under the age of 13, please exit out of this video and stop watching now. Thank you. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Shiny Pearl. Last we left off, we made it to the Victory Road. And we started uh, conquering it and kicking butt left, right, and center. I'm joined once again by my special co-commentator, Cinder, who's just trying to snuggle her hand under or her hand, her head under my hand preventing me from playing the game and also trying to beg me to feed her even though she has a bowl of dry food which I heard her crunching on at the end of the last episode anyway we're gonna go ahead and go down this pair of stairs here and by going down I mean we're gonna go right turn right back around we're gonna head right back upstairs and we're gonna move this boulder out of the way because I want to see what's over here on this side of... Oh. Because... One of these areas has a hidden item for Lumi. That is not it. I intend to perfect my double battle technique. That'll make me better all around. <laughs> as one, I want to improve my technique as a trainer and a double battler as much as I can. So who are these? Who are these clowns? K and L? Wish Cash and Staraptor. Oh, you guys have Earthquake, don't you? Oh, gonna have to shut this shit down and quick. Avalanche on the Staraptor. Giga Drain on the Wish Cash. I don't know for certain if they had Earthquake, but considering that is a ground and water type along with a flying type, I can only assume that that was exactly the plan that they had. Was to have the Wish Cash use Earthquake and the Staraptor to be able to avoid that due to its flying nature. Master over several Pokemon at once, you're a remarkable trainer. Alright. Oop! Darn it. TM71 Stone Edge. That's a good move. Very powerful. It's like, it's only 80% accurate, but still, Stone Edge is something you kind of don't want to mess with. Alrighty, uh, we're just gonna go ahead and hop down and go back over this way. Don't want to hop down that ledge because otherwise we're going all the way back around. 
you have fighting types, so we're definitely going to want to swap Lumi out. Even if it's just the one fighting type, we definitely want to go ahead and swap out. Maybe into our own fighting type. Guts, though. Can the Machamp even have Guts? Well, I'm not going to look it up at this point. I'll, I'll look it up afterwards and correct myself in a post-edit if I must. That's one of the great things about editing videos is I could always do the research afterwards and correct myself if need be. Made it this far in life using the karate you learned on the internet. Mm. I was about to say, you're probably too old for the internet to be out, but then again, internet's been out for so long that I have known people who have known the internet literally their whole lives at this point. kind of hard to believe, you know, some of these people who've known the internet for decades are literally decades old now. They're like in their 20s. <laughs> Man, it's just kind of mind-boggling. I'm, I'm still remembering like the, the early internet days of like the late, mid to late 90s. When I grew up in those areas, and it's, it's kind of hard to realize that you know, hey, you know, being 35, that you know, some of the younger generations, they they don't know <laughs> what we went through growing up, the stuff that we didn't have that we have today, and dear God, I sound like my parents. Ah, oh, I'm becoming an old man. Oh. <laughs> I want this item. TM-59 Dragon Pulse. Oh, I'm eventually going to find the Razor Claw here. I had no idea where it is, but it's around here somewhere in this victory road. And I aims to find it. Making an already strong Pokemon grow even stronger. I need your help with this. One of the things that I will also applaud BDSP for is that I love the fact that all of our HMs are now not consigned to our team. So that way you don't have to bring in an HM slave or HM mule, you know, just for the utilitarian purpose of getting around in the freaking victory road. You don't need to have to worry about rock smash or strength or waterfall and surf beyond like different Pokemon or potentially sacrifice a, a decent battling move for a utilitarian one just to get around. So now we can actually hop on a wild bee barrel and go around and do stuff. 
explore the region like we were meant to. Uh, I want to just double check something. Is this progress or is this? Well, there's a trainer there, so I can only assume that that's that's going the way that I kind of don't want. There it is. There's the razor claw. Hell yeah. We're gonna go ahead. We're gonna swap that on to Lumi for right at the moment. Where, where did it is? Is it down here? Yes, it's down here. Yes. Because I wanted to give that to her for two very important reasons. One, it boosts the power of her Shadow Claw. We're gonna go ahead and speak to you. But secondly, and more importantly, it is a held item that will cause her to evolve into her next form of Weavile during the nighttime. And guess what? It's 3 o'clock in the morning. We can go ahead and get that Shadow Claw off and... Get her to get her to learn these moves, or not to learn the moves, but to level up to level 55, which is gonna take a take a bit, unfortunately. Mm. Didn't realize she was that low. Right, uh, I think we'll go ahead. We'll bring Dewey out. You had sturdy, didn't you? Yes, you did. Hey, thanks for the health. Right. And with the sludge bomb, it's not going to deal a whole lot of effective damage to it, but it's already at 1 HP anyway, so it matters not. Uh, Empoleon, eh? Yeah, let's go ahead. It probably knows an ice move. But well, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna bring Daruk out and hopefully take out that Empoleon with a good ground move. Because otherwise I'm gonna be focusing on Pyramid using the fighting type moves to try to deal super effective damage. Which is not gonna be fun, especially considering I'm facing a Swords Dance effect with Empoleon. Uh, but I take it out anyway, so you know. No concerns. Alrighty. So I'm curious about something, something here. So, what was down this way? Just another trainer? That was it? Okay, kind of wish I'd known about that. I wouldn't have made the, uh... Well, actually, no. Yes, I would have.
because I don't think I've seen a Honchkrow in my um, Pokedex yet. And as I mentioned before in an earlier episode, if you want to get the National Dex, you need to fight everybody because that ensures you see every Pokemon and register it in your Pokedex as seen. There's nothing else down here. Oh, wait, yes, there is. We form a combination in perfect sync. How do you expect to counter that? A double team of aces is going to overwhelm you. Ah, I doubt that. Ooh, Medicham and Gyarados. I don't have a Gyarados of my own, but I do have a Metacham. Huh. Let's see. Uh, let's hit you with the Shadow Claw. And Dazzling Gleam will hit both opponents. Oh, and knock out that Medicham with one hit. Hell yeah. I keep forgetting I'm like significantly stronger than most of my opponents by like at least an order of 10 levels or so. Slap him with a Giga Drain, why not? down this way. Ah, rare candy. I could probably go ahead and use that to level Lumi up now and get her into a Weavile at this point. But she's getting kind of close to that point on her own, so I think we'll just go ahead we'll stay the course. over off to the right. Alright. Fair enough. Continue to use the repel. And... Wait a second. Top-level trainers gather around this place naturally. <laughs> the ideal place to train with the best. Okay. Just making sure Cinder's over on my bed. Or in hers, one way or the other.
Gyarados? Nah, we'll keep her in. Not the best decision, but we'll keep her in anyway. Because... By keeping her in, she'll get the ex uh, extended experience if we had just swapped out immediately. Alrighty. Smack him with the Zen headbutt. Oh, and he holds on just by the bare skin of his teeth. Yow. That was exactly what was needed to get Lumi up to level 55. Gibble? Eh, uh, you know what? Let's let her finish things off, assuming that the Gibble doesn't knock us out. That's why I like it here. I get to battle tough characters like you. Unfortunately, the downside of our Sneasel evolving into Weavile through the use of the Razor Claw is that it consumes the Razor Claw. Now we have a fully evolved Weavile on the team. It sends signals to others of its kind by carving odd patterns on trees and ice. But since now we don't have her using the Razor Claw anymore, we can just go ahead and uh, take the Icicle Plate that she was originally having and throw that back on there. In fact, I think we have, yes, we have a dread plate. Uh, we could probably give that to her instead when she learns Night Slash. Because that way, I mean, it's not going to boost its critical hit ratio or anything, but it will boost the power of the dark move. Uh, I wish we had the, uh, the scope lens on that, though. Because scope lens on on Lumi, that would be amazing, especially with the uh, the critical hit ratio of, oh, well, we've already made it to the Pokemon League, but you know what, since we're here, Let's go ahead, pop in for a scotch, and heal up for a second. I would move forward, but I know that Barry's going to stop us. Huh. And we're not going to do that. We're just going to heal up just long enough to rest up, relax, and head right back down into the victory road. Because we're not fully done in the victory road. We got some things to take care of. And by God, we still got about at least six minutes, uh, five minutes left in this episode, and I fully intend to make the most of it. 
And if we have to go over for a minute or two, then that's fine. Because sometimes it happens. But we have another rocky area up here that we can climb. Oh, and there's a path up there behind that veteran that I missed. But we'll go back and we'll double check on that. The reason we wanted to come up here because we wanted to get this item at the very end of this hallway. And we get TM79 Dark Pulse. It's a special move. It's a dark type move. And before we move on, we have one more thing I want to check out. We've got this item here, a bottle of zinc. And then we got this guy blocking off the end the exit from uh, Victory Road. Let me size you up. You're gonna become even tougher. You'll meet many, many Pokemon. That's what you should be thinking. Eventually your world will grow even larger. We need to be the champion before this guy will move out of the way. Or at the very least, uh, we need to be stronger. But we're not quite at that level of strength just yet. We have one final challenge in front of us. And that challenge is right here at the very end of the victory road. Ladies and gentlemen, we've done it. We have overcome almost every obstacle getting here. But now, we've made it to the end of the victory road and the final challenge before us. We stand ready before the Pokemon League. Next time on Pokemon Shining Pearl, we're going to make our final preparations. We're going to make sure that we have all of our affairs in order, all of the items that we need, and all of our moves and abilities that we want to have ready for the final frontier in front of us. This has been Mr. Ben. Thank you all for joining me on this journey. I will see you guys in the next episode. Until then.